Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are well and safe. So in today's video, we will be learning how to paint mountains. This is the continuation part of our previous videos, which we started painting tutorials for beginners series. Start ki thi. So you start with the creating the shade for mountains. I am taking some blue and very little bit of black. Uh, the blue proportion should be more and add small uh, proportion of white color also I couldn't uh, record the portion which I have painted on the canvas but I'm again making the shade and teaching you so start with outlining the mountains you can also use pencil if you are not comfortable directly painting on the paper So make such an outline So after you are done with the mountains you, you can paint the remaining portion which I am painting with a green color or any shade of green you have can or you can leave it for now we'll paint uh, trees and grass here later so now we'll be highlighting our mountains so you take a little white color on the brush it should be very little amount and paint such lines or portion of white color over the mountains with very little pressure you have to highlight this portion it it shows uh, the light is falling on that side so for acrylic painted painting as uh, I already said in my previous videos to make it more realistic you have to add uh, highlights and shadows so for highlighting we generally use white or the lighter shade of the same color so after you are done with this white highlighting you can leave it as it is or you can also add little more depth to this mountains by adding some lighter shade to the opposite side so the uh, light is falling on this right side so it is white and the back side of it I am painting with lighter shade of blue so you can just randomly have such strokes with very little pressure like this and uh, it gives beautiful more realistic look now we are going to paint trees so for drawing pine trees I am drawing these lines then on the remaining portion paint uh, grass for painting grass you can use the flat brush or uh, any old brush if you have which is not uh, with uh, intact bristles that works very well for uh, painting grass so like this you have some strokes for the grass and on top of it have some light color shade like yellow and white and then with the lemon yellow and white color I am drawing this grass with a zero number brush you draw or paint this grass like this anyways this area will be covered by trees so don't focus much on the grass portion in our next video we will be learning in detail how to paint such grass now for pine trees 
you take black color and uh, hold the brush uh, vertically and just with the tip of that brush have such strokes so one side at a time one branch at a time you paint such a shape and your pine tree is ready so we'll be painting remaining pine trees like this just tip very little paint dragging the brush horizontally and vertically just touch the tip and paint such branches horizontally If you want to understand how I am uh, painting all these shades and skies, you please go and check my previous videos. So it will help you more to uh, understand the painting in detail. I am I have shared so many uh, tips for acrylic painting, so you can follow that. Now make the central portion of the trees a little bit dense. So I am adding black color to the center again like this just the center portion of the tree you have to make dense and uh, then add some green layer on top of it for acrylic painting uh, we add uh, layers uh, as many layers we add it looks more realistic so we start with darker shade and then go on uh, the lighter shade of that color and on top of it we add finally white for highlighting and color so after green color i am adding this white just very little color you have to take and just on the corners of the branches you have to show white highlighting to show the light reflection like this just very little portion of the branches you paint with white after you finish with that green color like this so you can clearly see the light is coming from the right side from the mountains and trees so this gives uh, your painting more depth also the trees which are uh, near to the mountain the back side of the trees uh, you can add uh, the shadow of those trees also with a little bit dark green color on the, on the bottom of that tree so again I'm adding a little bit of white for highlighting and our painting is ready thank you so much for watching see you in my next video thank you